Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't get freaked out. It's not real. I found yesterday on YouTube from Nicole Skies, which I will totally link below. She is, I love her. She is great. Oh, oh, hold on. She is great. She does, uh, she does a lot of like beauty hacks and are they, are they worth it or are they whack? She's cute. She's such a cutie. And she has a ton of subscribers and I think been doing this for a long time. And she posted this look yesterday and I was like, whoa, that's cool. And then I watched it. She did it really quick as a speed through type. Where I, I was like, well, I'm going to try. And so yesterday I played around with it and I did it and it took me like five minutes and it it, it wasn't that bad. And I, I posted a picture on a, um, on a couple group pages I'm in with makeup groups and stuff. And people went crazy and they just thought it was the coolest thing and are you a tattoo artist I'm like no no I'm not I can screw up a stick figure like I'm really not and I'm not just saying that I have a shaky hand almost all the time I'm really not artistic I'm not and everyone's like I want to see how you do it and so I I'm doing it again and it's, uh, I was, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to do it this time. Now that people want it, I'm gonna screw it up. But I think it came out good again. I think it's pretty cool. And so, yeah, I, like I said, I will link Nicole Skies down below. Totally check her out. Um, she's cute. She's a cutie. And yeah, okay, so real quick, um, all you need for this look, technically, all you need is a black eyeliner, a cheapy black eyeliner and like a pencil one I just use from Ulta simple and a red lip liner or a red lipstick or anything red um, for a little bit that's in there you might not even be able to see it I don't know but like it's just a little bit for like that black widow spot and then I use the NYX jumbo crayon pencil and milk just to give it a little bit more and it totally that that that's all you need. That's it. You could achieve this look for two, three bucks tops. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then you can get more creative and do it wherever you want and all that. Anyway, anyway, enough of that. Please keep watching if you want to see how I achieved this look. Thank you, Nicole Skies, for the inspiration. Okay, so I'm going to take just a cheapy eyeliner. Does not have to be fancy at all. This is from Ulta. One side is dark brown, one side is black. I'm going to use the black side. And we're going to start tracing the spider. And I like to start with the body. Now the hardest part, of course, is going to be you're doing this. If you're going to do it here, you're going to need to do it through a mirror. And that makes it a little tricky. Um, but just do your best. It'll work. It's I have no artistic ability at all and I think I can get this to work. So and then fill it in. We're going to go back over and make the actual spider um, dark, but right now we're just kind of outlining where we are going to have it. Make them a little head. See, I already kind of smeared it, but it's okay. You can clean it up or let it be. I think in a way, if it's kind of messier, it's actually like cool too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, then we're going to do our legs. Sorry, it's like hard to talk and do it.
it's almost like better to use like a cheapy eyeliner because then it's easier to get off. Okay, so at, that's what you should kind of have right now at this point. Um, now I'm going to go in actually with a um, gel liner or an ink liner. I'm just going to use this Kat Von D liner and I'm going to darken it up. Now that I have it, the spider is done. So it'll just help when you're making the shadows after. This is really going to stand out and then the shadow will appear lighter, you know. So that's all I'm going to do is just go over it. I mean, honestly, guys, at this point, it's pretty much easy. Um, like I said, the hardest part is the fact that you're doing it backwards. But it's a creepy spider. It don't gotta be perfect. See how shaky I am? I'm so shaky. Then, once you do that, we're going to go in with the, um, the pencil again, the black pencil. If you had a gray eyeliner, that would be ideal, but we're going to make this work and we're just going to do it very, very lightly. And that's going to create that 3D effect, that shadowing effect. So, going off of this one, just press really lightly. So yeah, we, d we definitely want to shade his body. I think that's one of the most important parts of it that's really going to make it like come together. So you're just gonna go under a little bit. Sorry guys, it's an awkward angle. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's lighter. Kinda like that, you're casting that shadow effect. I have this one neat. But yeah, seriously, if you guys had a, um, a gray, that would be cool. I do not have one. Yeah, so something kind of like that. Then, and I think this just helps too, but you can kind of even leave it at this. I'm going to take a, a red lip liner or red lipstick, well, what, anything red. And since we're doing like that Black Widow effect, I'm gonna put a couple little red dots over the black and the body. But it comes out almost like, you kind of almost can't even see it, but it has just that little redness to it, which I kind of like. Put a little bit right here, why not? And then I'm gonna take the Jumbo NYX pencil, if you just put it randomly, just randomly, throughout the legs, it just gives it a little something, the actual legs, not the shadow pieces. I don't know, it kind of just brings it together, and it does not have to be, um, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, just kind of, you almost want that like smudginess appeal to it. I'm going to put even a little bit in his face. You're just trying to kind of like give it that dimension. So now it kind of has like that gray in there. I hope you guys can see it picking up. And that's pretty much it guys like yeah and different angles are gonna hit it and it looks cool you could do 
a bunch of them. You could do like littler ones kind of going up. You could do this on your arm. You could do it anywhere. Um, I think it's cool. I, ho I hope it's picking up on camera good of how it really looks. Of course, close up is maybe not going to look as, you know, 3D. But of course, how does that work? You know, you step back or you lean back from it and you're like, whoa, whoa. But was, I think it's fun. I think it's cool. It's something different, but super simple. You need three products, if that. You don't even really have to do the, the red in it. You, it it's, you could do this in under like two, three bucks. Pretty cool. You can put it to any costume. So, yeah, kind of cool. I hope you like it. Don't mind my whiteness. Um, yeah. Right on. Okay, guys, so this is my finished look. I mean, I did not do anything with my hair. I did not do really anything with my face. This is, I just wanted to do this. Everyone, I posted it. People were like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? And I'm like, you know what? Aside from working backwards, <laughs> it's really not that hard. So you could totally do it, and you could do it very cheap. And that's cool to me. I like that. I really like it. I think it's fun. It's creepy. Scary kid with it. I did. Um, yeah, it's fun. I'm going to... Oh, I itch. I always itch. I'm going to do another Halloween look right now, actually. And I'm going to keep this here because I think it could kind of tie in together. But you'll have to wait and see what I come up with. I'll have to wait and see what I'm coming up with. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys really liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already. And thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you very soon. Ah.